Good day, I'm Yiling. I'm going to present for the lab of the course IBG213 with the title Investigation of KLA in Bioreactor Operation. In this experiment, the method that we use is static gassing out method. In this experiment, the materials we use are neutron broth, nitrogen gas, and air. First, 2 liters of bioreactor was filled with 1 liter of neutron broth and airflow was connected to the bioreactor with air supply. Next is the one point calibration was chosen and the optical DO broad value was calibrated as 100% when the measured value was at a stable display. The system was outgassed by switching the flow to nitrogen. When the oxygen level dropped to 0%, the air was switched on and nitrogen gas supply was stopped. The agitation speed and airflow rate was set as 100 RPM and 1 liter per minute respectively. The result was recorded at every 40 seconds until it reached a constant. The experiment was repeated by changing the airflow rate to 2, 3 and 4 liter per minute. The graph of long CE minus CL against time at different airflow rates was plotted and KLA was determined. There are a few precautions steps that need to be followed in this experiment. First, Carry out regular checks of power cords for fault, fraying or wear, and regular electrical safety checks by authorized engineers. Besides, use the minimum air pressure that will provide adequate airflow for the application. Furthermore, never block the air hose to pressurize the vessel. If the vessel exhaust becomes blocked, pressure can build up and possibly shattering the vessel and endangering personnel. By using the integral method, graphs of long C minus CL against time at different airflow rates were plotted and equation Y equals to MX plus C was obtained for each graph. By comparing the equation long CE minus CL equals to negative KLA T plus long CE minus CL with the equation Y equals to MX plus C, the gradient of slope equal to the negative KLA. So, KLAF different airflow rates was calculated and converted to the unit per hour. The volumetric mass transfer coefficient KLA indicates the rate of oxygen used for fermentation. Determination of KLA is important to maintain the adequate transfer of oxygen in a bioreactor. KLA is used as a measure of the aeration capacity of a bioreactor. From the result obtained, the KLA values for aeration at 1, 2, 3, and 4 liter per minute are 10.44, 23.04, 22.68, and 36.36 per hour respectively. We can observe that the KLA values are increased with the increase of aeration rates. The main reason is that at higher aeration rates, the total volume of gas bubbles in the bioreactor will increase which leads to higher interfacial area between gas and liquid. The gas bubble dissolves more quickly in the medium, which leads to an increase of the KLA values. However, the KLA values at 3 liter per minute is slightly lower than 2 liter per minute, which is supposed to be higher. This may be cause of some experimental errors that occurs during the experiment. We also can observe that the time taken for the dissolved oxygen level to reach saturation level becomes shorter with the increase of airflow rate. This is due to the increase of the oxygen transfer rate, which means that the oxygen transfer more faster with higher aeration rate. However, cell damage could occur due to the shear force when the aeration rate is too high, so we should carefully control the fermentation condition based on different cell types. In conclusion, the higher the aeration rate, the shorter the time taken to reach the saturated dissolved oxygen level, hence the higher the KLA values. The aeration capacity of the bioreactor increases with the increase of KLA values. That's all from me, thank you.